so hello everybody welcome back so I wanted to um, continue talking to you about um, the issues that I have because I have no water so we had no water for um, several days and then we got water for about a uh, day and a half and then the water just went out again and um, you know the usual I mean after we got the water my internet was out so that has been uh, today will be the um, day number seven with no internet in my room and um, I do have internet in my mother's room but her internet is slower than mine and is more limited and at the same time is my mother's internet so I have to share it with her and that means that you know uh, because the internet is limited we are fighting about it and um, you know it sucks like it really 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 sucks so <clears throat> grab some coffee grab the notebook uh, because you are going to probably need it and um, I'm going to uh, tell you several things that you know um, are going to be probably not in order and I'm sorry about that one but you know uh, uh, oh come on uh, today is day number two and a half with no water um, but I'm not on bucket duty because uh, when we have power we have the water pump but since we don't have power uh, and the water pump is damaged, you know, I have told you this in the other videos, uh, that my water pump uh, required one piece. Now it requires two pieces uh, to, for it to be working properly or whatever. So <clears throat> anyway, so basically uh, the water pump is limited. And um, again, it sucks. So if you wanted to buy me a coffee, you can do that in the link down below. And if you wanted to help me out, you can also send an Amazon gift card. The email is down below. And anyway, now I'm going to uh, tell you several things. Um, uh, the question that I get the most is how the hell do I get my water or whatever? In my edited videos, um, I see in everyday threats and inconveniences. Um, you know, I tell you about the water problems that we're dealing with and what do I do about it? Like, um, when I'm on bucket duty, what does it mean? Um, what does it mean when, you know, the, the, the power goes out at 2 in the morning and it doesn't come back on or whatever? And I tell you uh, several details that you probably want to be aware of, like um, lamps that you should be worried about and stuff like that. But anyway. <clears throat> uh, so here is the deal. Um, the potable water that we have is um, limited. We do not get potable water through the pipe. And even if we did, you do not trust the, the water pipe for clean water. So you use only, you use the water pipe only for cleaning, you know, showering maybe and stuff like that. However, sometimes that water will be uh, so filled with chemicals and others that you will actually have to shower with goggles and stuff and it's really 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 bad um, we used to have water that it was brown like literally it was like you getting pee out of the uh, freaking um, pipe there was a, a point in which there was water that was actually brown and it looked like diarrhea and um, the smell of the freaking water that comes through the pipe is really, really, really bad. So people started complaining so much and um, because the water is so contaminated that it's really, really, really bad. So um, the, the regular organism for the freaking water is trying to do something about it and, you know, now we get uh, other problems. There are uh, two communities, I mean, uh, my community is divided into center, north, and south. And uh, the center of the community, um, there are areas within that uh, that that block of, of, of you know communities, three things. They haven't got water in nearly 
two something years. Like really, no water from the pipe whatsoever. So they deal with it differently because they know that no matter what happens, they will never lose water. The problem gets worse uh, by the time it gets uh, to, a, to a more uh, you know, big area because that means that they will not get water and then no one else is getting water. So basically they cannot ask for help for, for anybody else. And also it means that they are now competing for, with more people for the same resources. So, you know, it, it's really, really like a worse thing because um, when you need a truck with water, it, the price can go, you know, regularly, maybe 50 to hundred dollars, you know, and if it is not too much demand, maybe you can get it for 50, but usually it's around a hundred dollars or something. But when there is no water in the entire city, that truck that will be enough to fill up a, a, a whole underground water tank, um, it will cost you about 200, maybe $300 cash. So, you know, it will depend upon demand. So the more people that demand this thing, the more that it is going to be more expensive and it's going to be harder to get. And also, uh, like I said, you're competing with more people. So you might need to pay the, the cash and you will also need to uh, pay gasoline or gasoil for the truck to deliver the water to your house. And when you don't have a water tank or your water tank is too small, then what you do is you, uh, let's say that there are five people in, in your block that you know, five neighbors. So the five of them plus you, that equals six. So let's say that it is $300. So they will say, okay, each one of us is getting one fix or of, of the truck and each one of us is going to pay $50. And then, you know, you got to bribe the drivers and everything else. So, you know, you, you got to learn how to help to handle these things. There will always be somebody in your block that will know, you know, um, a guy or two and, um, you might be able to turn things uh, for the best in, in your community if you have good people. However, um, not everybody will be willing to go on middle or middle because, uh, you know, let's say that you take the money and you are in good faith, you know, taking the $300 to the freaking truck and then the truck never shows up. So now you owe the other five neighbors, you owe their $50 and you just lost your $50. And they are all going to, try to, to to be blaming you. And they are all going to be pissed at you. So, you know, this has happened a lot. Uh, a lot of neighbors, you know, uh, will come up with, uh, will, col will collect the money. And then um, something will go wrong with the truck or the propane tank thing or whatever. Or the service will not be delivered because they were scammed or, or something like that. And then you don't know if the person that was scammed was the neighbor or if the neighbor is the one who is doing the scamming. So, you know, it's a very delicate situation when it comes to dealing with money and stuff like that. And um, dealing with the, the problem with water, it, it also requires, um, you know, emergency rationing things and it, it, it requires a hell of a lot of things. So anyway. Moving forward, so we get potable water, like I said, uh, we go by, by driving, we go to an underground well um, that uh, will provide the water uh, for free for the people. However, um, that it is an option that now is being limited because they need the electricity for the water pump to, to pull the water from the underground thing and um, since the company now has to pay for the fuel to get the generator going when there is a power outage, you know, because if there is a power outage, you still need the water pump to be working. That means that they need to provide the fuel. So they obviously are not going to provide the fuel and the water for free. So um, and before there were four, um, four hoses from which you could get water. Now there are only two and they just wrote down uh, this week, this week, 
the after there was a shortage, you know, uh, on the city, in the entire city and everything, they wrote down a, a big note that says there is only two hoses now. And if the power outage continues and we do not find the spare parts for the water pumps, we will suspend this service. Um, if they suspend this service, then you need electricity to get potable water anywhere. And I do mean anywhere. That means that even if you have the underground well or whatever, if you do not have fuel to pay whoever is doing you the favor of, of, of you know, getting the water out of that thing, then we are not getting any water, at least not potable water. And um, this is big. I mean, we were not expecting to the, the company to, to just shut us down. The problem is that, you know, they cannot send the drivers to find fuel um, for supporting the communities because, you know, what is the company getting out of it? Because the, the water is free, so they are not charging it to anyone. So, you know, basically now we got to figure out another way to get it in case that these problems continue. I have no idea how I'm going to handle this because I am not there yet. I'm hoping that I do not get there anytime, any soon. Because quite frankly, then I uh, we are preparing with a list of uh, companies that will sell you the water um, when there is no power, like electricity, uh, because they have generators. But those places, you can expect them to be very, very, very jammed. And you can expect the price to go up like crazy. And, you know, since we are not regular users for this service, we might get the last bit of, of the cake kind of thing. Because usually when something like this happen, uh, people that go there regularly um, will have like a preferential treatment kind of thing. But since we don't use that because we are using the free thing, um, basically, we are strangers in, into that area and nobody knows us, so I don't know how we are going to handle that one. Also, we will require uh, a car to get there and to try to get the freaking potable water. Um, uh, we have a resident here that uh, she uh, used to get the water with us, but now since we are fighting for the water, and, you know, it, it's insane. Uh, she's now getting the water by herself. So every other day, and I do mean like today, yes, tomorrow, no. The, the day after that, yes. The day after that, no. Kind of like that. Um, she needs to go outside and walk about two and a half blocks uh, to get 10 liters of water. And then, you know, she needs to walk there, pay for it, and then come back. Uh, paying for it, it's a pain. If you don't have uh, the, uh, the, the, the system for you to be able to pay, they are not going to sell it to you. So she also needs to get out of the house and try to get cash. Not easy. Especially since we now have a new kind of a monetary system thing. So basically, um, before... She was supposed to just help me out carrying the water, but now she has to do everything by herself. So how the hell does she carry the water if she doesn't have a trolley or something? Well, she uses a small carry-on luggage. You know, the one that you take to the airline? Yeah, she put the, the bottle in there and then she just walks with the, with the luggage, like if it was traveling or something. And, um, you know, it, it, it's insane. Um, but I thought that it was like um, like the best solution because, quite frankly, uh, we we are um, we are fighting. Like oh hell, we're uh, the the three of us, the adults, like my mom, me, and the resident, and now my aunt, uh, and also my neighbor. Um, all of us, literally, all of us are are pissed because of the situation with the water. Um, every time that I am on bucket duty. Uh, the resident is, is the one that also helps me. So she is pissed as hell. 
because she's she's always saying something like, if I was in Europe, this will not be happening. If I was in another country, this will not be happening. Kind of like that. And, um, be, you know, because she's the one that helps me uh, pull the buckets and she's the one that helps me um, clean the clean the buckets and then put them in the place and then dry them and stuff. And it, it's, a, it's a very labor kind of thing. And um, we are women, you know, so we do get our periods and we do get pain and cramps and we do get uh, cranky and stuff because of, um, you know, you having your period and having to pull buckets and stuff like that because, you know, the, you, you just, uh, the, 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 the water situation is not going to stop and say, oh, I'm sorry, you have your period. I'm just going to stop time and then, you know, you can come back when you feel better or something. Oh, hell no, you have your period. It doesn't matter. You still need to do a lot of things and you have a headache. It doesn't matter. You still need to go and get the freaking water. Uh, you have like this, oh my God, and, you know, and uh, yesterday it, it was really, really, really bad because um, I I have been on, on book of duty for a long time uh, lately and I was kind of angry because I wanted to write my novel and writing the novel uh, for me, it's like a, like a cathartic kind of thing. For me, it's important. So I, my mom went out. Uh, to buy uh, some things with my aunt and whatever she was out and she called me to tell me something about my my daughter but you know we didn't have any water my internet has been out um, at this moment there was no power because the power just went out uh, about, about 20 minutes or so and then I'm pissed because I'm trying to figure things out. My daughter doesn't want to do the freaking homework because she's pissed that she is supposed to be in class because we told her that today was supposed to be, you know, class day. So she was happy about seeing her new friends and whatever. And she thinks and she, you know, literally said, why are you trying to make me be alone forever? Kind of like that. So I was tired. I'm pissed and everything and I'm trying to write the freaking thing so I wrote some something you know like uh maybe I don't know how many chapters uh in two and a half hours and then my mom is on the freaking phone and as soon as she's talking to me she's telling me about uh several things and quite frankly I can't understand anything my my mind I swear I was so freaking tired that she could told me that there was a Godzilla attack and I would have said Okay, mom, I'll wait for you. You know, I, I swear I was beyond, like, like, I swear, I, if you could have, you know, take a needle or something and punch me, you would probably not get blood out of me because I was so, like, like, drained and everything. So I accidentally uh, leave the program and I didn't save my freaking progress. So I lost the two and a half hours of my novel I lost it and I was so freaking pissed that I started yelling the hell out of my mother and I told her to back, to back off because there is no freaking power, there is no internet, there is no water and I told her to go to hell and then my mom is like, what, what, what is going on? And I said, go mom, if this is, if this is not an emergency, then don't bother me and then I just hang up the freaking phone. I know, I'm, no, I'm, I'm kind of evil. My daughter was looking at me kind of like, what the hell? So I told my daughter, you know, I looked at her and I said, I'm pissed, do not make me mad. Go and do your freaking homework. I don't care about anything. I'm pissed and I don't want to, you know, take it out on you. You're going to sit down, do your freaking homework and you're going to shut up. Because I am going to try not to, uh, not to do something that I am going to probably regret, like yelling the hell out of you. So, you know, my daughter was kind of looking at me like, what the hell? But then I said, oh crap. Then my, you know, uh, then I sit down and I started crying. And I just said, okay, 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 okay. I gotta take a breath because, you know, uh, this is not the end of the world. And... It's okay, you know, I know, I, you know, but it's just that 
I, I, I have, you know, I was in pain. I had headaches. I was in pain. I'm a headache. I'm tired. Um, base. I want to take a shower, and I haven't take a sh taken a shower in in days. I oh crap! You have no idea how bad everything was. So my aunt comes, and then she's like, "Oh, can I?" No, and I said, "Oh no 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 no! I'm not talking to anyone. The other person, the only person that can talk to me right now, is my mother, and that is because I cannot kill her. So shut up, everybody. Just shut up." Quite frankly, I am as pissed as hell because I just lost my entire novel. I lost the entire work. I lost, oh crap. So my mother is looking at me kind of like, okay, everybody is stressed out. So breathe and do what you do best. Tune out. And then I said, I know I can tune out. I just, I'm not able to do it right now. And I have no idea why. So... My God, my best, and I do mean one of my top five best freaking abilities is the fact that I can tune out. But now I just couldn't. I couldn't tune out because I can't write. I can't, you know, I don't feel, uh, you know, I'm sticky. I am, uh, I am tired. My daughter keeps, uh, you know, complaining about the freaking classes because the freaking classes go this week. You can go to school, to school. Then this week, oh, no, you can't. Then tomorrow you can. And then that day they call you from the school and tell you, oh, no, we can't because the government doesn't let us, you know, they are not allowing us to do to, to do any kind of classes because everybody is, 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 is uh, sick. And then they go kind of like... <sighs> and then, of course, at this moment that, you know, all of these things happening... I, I finally, I said to my aunt, aunt, if you talk to me, I swear I might yell at you. So don't look at me. Don't, don't do anything. You know, I'm just, you know, not doing anything. So anyway, so anyway, <clears throat> like I was saying, I get interrupted every moment and, you know, I was used so 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 freaking drain of all of my energy when the freaking thing when i lost the 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 work that i did you know i was just thinking i'm never going to finish this novel and uh you know i started thinking you know maybe if i was in another place or whatever but here's the deal every time that you go into your head and you have the word if oh it's a rabbit hole and you will probably not get out of there and you're probably going to just be in a loop in hell. You never, ever, 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 under any circumstances, go into the rabbit hole of saying, what if I was in another place or whatever? Oh, hell no. Unless you do know how the hell to, to walk over demons, which is something that some people can do, then you don't, because otherwise you will use, you know, you will use four and you will be between demons. So, hell no, if you can't, you know, be kind of like above the freaking demons and never, ever, ever walk down the freaking rabbit hole. Because if you do, you're going to go to hell. So I was, you know, at this point when I'm draining my energies because I was in the freaking hole, kind of like, what if I'd never finish my novel? Oh my God, that freaking question. It just drove me completely out of the edge. Now, for other people, it will be different. My, 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 the resident in my house, she has the same question, but she's always kind of like, what if I was in another place? Why did I have to be here? Why didn't I stay in another country or whatever? Because she has travel and she was given a choice between being here and being in another country. So she chose to come back and she regrets it. And now she can't go anywhere. And, um, you know, the pandemic is, is going, uh, you know, crazy, affecting people different ways. And of course, in this moment in which, you know, we are kind of slow in, in the energy and everything, um, our neighbor tested positive for the COVID, even though he has double vaccination. So then I looked at, at my mom and I said, how the hell? Can you tell me that you get a disease 
even though you are vaccinated against the freaking disease. You know, it will be kind of like when, when you know, when you get the chicken pox uh, vaccine for your kids, you know, and then they get it and then they tell you, yeah, the kid is supposed to be feeling bad for a couple of days, but he should, you know, they're, they are never going to get the freaking disease anymore. So that's the way that vaccines are supposed to work, right? So, you know, I was kind of um, with mixed feelings because, you know, um, my neighbor and, and my mother and my aunt and a hell of a lot of people that I know are double vaccinated. And now they are pissed because they are demanding the third vaccine. So... I'm kind of looking at them and asking, why do you need three vaccines for the same thing? I know. I mean, you're going to tell me it's a virus, it mutates, whatever. I don't care what the hell you tell me. But the point is that why do you, I mean, are, are you going to be addicted to vaccines now? Or are you going to tell me that vaccines are supposed to be every three or six months? What the hell? You know? I, 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 and what for, if you're still going to develop the disease? So, you know, my neighbor, um, he doesn't have uh, a nebulizer. I have said it before in other videos. If you don't have a nebulizer in your house, you really, 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 you know, need one. And, you know, it, it, it's one of the top medical items that you're supposed to get for your house. So he doesn't have a, a nebulizer, so, we were debating about what to do about him for the nebulization thing. Because, you know, if you share the nebulizer uh, and you put it in another house, then, you know, uh, it's a problem. Because if you only got one, then and it gets damaged or whatever, or, or, or you can't retrieve it or something happens or, oh God, oh crap. So, you know, it, it puts uh, the, the person that wants to help you in a very hard position because... It, it, sometimes if you are helping someone that 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 fact kind of you know can affect your your future use of whatever the hell you are using for helping them so you know so we shared um the medicine the antibiotics and all the things that we have so we were fine i mean he's getting better but my mom is of course panicking and um a lot of people are panicking and they are demanding the third vaccine so that they uh, do not develop uh, any kind of disease or anything. So, you know, I go kind of like, okay, whatever, that's your body, that's your decision. I'm not going to meddle. I'm just too tired to freaking meddle. Quite frankly, like I said, I am dealing with a lot in my plate. I, I, right now, I have no... Oh, and by the way, all of these, um, when I do need the internet the most, and when I do need the, the battery from the UPS the most and everything, of course, there were over uh, 25 freaking surges, and my UPS, uh, it's okay, but my mother's UPS, which is the one that has the internet and everything, my mother's UPS decided to um, not work anymore. So we got two UPSs that are protecting the, the modems and the routers that, you know, the ones that we have for me and the ones that my, that my mother has. So now my mother doesn't have that. And so I had to give her my UPS so that she can get it for the internet because her internet is the only one that is working. Why? Well, apparently a lot of people like um 70 percent of people that get the, get that gets the ups um the ups gets damaged within six months so i was extremely lucky because my mother's and mine are over a year and a half or something um because of this spike surges in the freaking uh you know outlet so basically um the ups is working but the battery for the ups it's another matter, so they need to be replaced. Now, finding a battery for the UPS is uh, 
I think it's cheaper and faster and better to use get than other UPS. So, you know, now, um, among all of these things, then, um, you know, like I told you before, the water pump that I, that, uh, I, I use sometimes, uh, when we do have power and stuff, we don't we, we have problems because there was one pipe uh, one piece uh, that we we can't find or even if we find it it's like eighty dollars or something and I I don't have eighty dollars cash for to pay for that thing, but um, but now it is the second one because uh, the 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 pieces that the water pump you know require like every year. You, you, you know there, there will there are problems with the power outage because the water the, the the power outage will act like a like a pump right so the water goes up every time that you know uh, you turn on the freaking water pump once you turn on the water pump the water is not supposed to go below there is a check valve in here that is supposed to keep the water up so that it doesn't go back. Because if it doesn't, if it goes back, then, you know, the water is going through here and now it's going the other way. So it will damage the freaking water pump. It will damage everything. And this is also uh, one of the pieces that, you know, uh, if you do have a water pump, you do need to get at least a couple of these pieces. It's called a check valve. Um, they need to, uh, they are made out of plastic lately, but, um, they, they are supposed to be made out of brass or, or copper or something. And, you know, that thing, yeah, I completely forgot that we were supposed to get another one. And, um, that was last year because we only found one and it was kind of cheap at that time, but we couldn't find the other one. Uh, you know, to get it as a spare part. But now we we require that one. So if you have a water pump, I suggest that, that you store a couple of those uh, things as a spare part, you know. So anyway, now um, my, I was able to, um, you know, uh, get my ability back to tune out of things. So I apologize to my, my mom. She said, I understand that everybody is very pissed because we have no water and whatsoever, but we are the lucky ones. Remember that there are people that then right now are complaining on the fact that they haven't got any water in their houses for over two years. And some of the other ones in the center of the community um, have been without uh, water for the last 10 months. So we are we only got this problem for about a week or maybe one week and a half or something. So it's not even a month. So keep that in mind because you know if we were going to do this for over a month, then um, then we need a better way to handle our emotions because uh, you know my granddaughter is lashing out because she needs. To go out with friends and she cannot think that we are doing this on purpose to her or something and then I try to 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 put myself you know into the situation in which I have to explain to her what the hell is happening and quite frankly I do not know how because I do not know what is happening so let me put it into this perspective um, there are two people that are on Twitter that decided to you know slash the hell out of themselves uh, as in yell the hell out of themselves through the messages, uh, you know, to Dracula, the governor. So one of them is a woman, right? And she is like my age and she's like, uh, you know, because the Dracula said, we fixed the problem with the freaking water. Now we have water. And by the way, we do have water. Some of us, uh, you know, some of us is, do, do have water, but 70% uh, of the population in, in the city doesn't have water yet. So we are the 30% that got the freaking water. So we are the lucky one or whatever. The point being that, you know, the guy uh, showed up with the videos and he has proved that he is trying to solve the problem because at least now it is not 100% of the population that doesn't have water. I mean, he is saying that he is doing the best he can and he has videos, right? So the woman said, those videos are too old and 
uh, you know, they are from what, about 10 years ago or something when there was water, you know, that is, is used, uh, you know, I haven't seen water for the last two years in my house. So stop lying or something like that. Those videos are old. That was, you know, her answer. Those videos are too old. So Dracula answered, oh no, hell no, they are not old. If they were old, that would mean that I am younger. If I was younger in the videos, I will be too freaking handsome and you will be falling in love with me and you will be one of my admirers and you will, you will be joining the fan club. So no, they are not old. It's me. And you know, I can prove it because of my age. I don't look that good in the video. <laughs> And then I kind of like, oh my God, what the hell is that answer? I swear to God, I, I, I don't know whether to laugh or to cry or to do both. And then there was a second person. Okay, this is a guy. He is, is you know, saying uh, how terrible the services are because he doesn't have internet uh, for over a month. He doesn't have um, TV cable for over three months, uh, even though he pays for it. He doesn't have uh, the local telephone number uh, for over two years. And he doesn't have water for the last uh, two and a half months or something. And then they got a problem with the electricity in, in their place uh, for over a week. So he just said, and I quote, it's horrible living in the freaking state that you are supposed to be ruling. So you are doing a terrible job. Uh, uh, there is nothing that I can tell you that it is good. So therefore, you should quit. And then, you know, Dracula, being Dracula, of course, you know, he just answered, oh, hell no, I'm not quitting. Because, you see, without me, things could be worse. And here is what you're supposed to be doing. If you don't like it here, just move. Nobody is asking for people like you to stay here. Just move the hell out of here and go to another state in which things are way, way, way worse. And then, or for all I know, leave the freaking country. Nobody needs you. <laughs> oh, crap. I, oh, crap. I, I, I swear to God, I do not know what the hell to think about being civil. And, 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 you know, uh, what happened to manners and stuff like that. Oh, and by the way, I had a Twitter account that I, I decided to close down, um, you know, because I don't use it, uh, like, at all, like, never. By the way, I'm deleting all of the emails that I have that I don't use. I am, you know, closing down basically everything that I can remember that I haven't used in the last two years. I am shutting it down like internet or whatever, because that is just, you know, a, a contaminating the environment and a hell of a lot of things. I do not want to have that. So whatever, point being that, you know, I have the Twitter account that I haven't used in, in over a year. So I opened the, the email for that Twitter account thing. And then the messages that I read from the Twitter company is the following, and I'm not freaking joking. It is, uh, you know, my name, and then they say, Stop being selfish. You should share your social media uh, ideas. You should share your thoughts. You should share with anyone. Why are you so selfish? And then I go kind of like, my God, what the hell? And there was at least, uh, and I do mean at least, something like seven or eight emails in which t Twitter is telling me that I'm selfish because I don't share my thoughts. What the hell? I mean, are you that desperate as a company that you're calling your clients selfish? What, you are supposed to, I'm supposed to share my thoughts with everybody just because what? What if I open a Twitter account but I have private thoughts? I just want to be able to maybe read the Twitters for somebody else, or maybe I just want to do the retweeting. I don't need to share my thoughts. I share my thoughts when I want to. You can't force me. So what the hell? So, and I can't understand what would be the point of, of you yelling the hell out of it to someone in a freaking email if you want them to participate in, 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 in your group. If you want somebody to participate in your group, you can ask, 
Hey, are you okay with the platform? Do you know how to use it? Do you think it, it's not friendly? What the hell? I mean, you're supposed to ask, especially if, 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 if you are a client, you know, because, you know, you can't force anyone to, to, to share your, your thoughts. I mean, come on. And me. And sometimes I don't share a lot of things that happen to me in, in a daily basis. I mean, I did share uh, uh, in one of my Etsy videos, I did share uh, some thoughts that I was having uh, when I was going with this guy that we were going out. But but then we went, we, we uh, had problems because of the pandemic and, and the whole money issue. And then, you know, we were arguing because of the freaking uh, money topic and things like that. And I did share that and I did say that, you know, it, it's hard sometimes uh, when you're dealing with all of these things alone. Because I don't, I, I don't like being with a lot of people, but at the same time, you will face yourself uh, into a situation in which you are lonely. It, it, and it's not lonely in the sense that, oh my God, I want to be with somebody. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's because I have told you in a hundred videos that you should never settle with people that you do not like or something like that. But you do feel kind of like overwhelmed sometimes. And you do want somebody to be there just because it, 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 sharing, it, you, sharing with somebody is it's important. And having a little bit of drama that has nothing to do with the system, but rather it's a, it's a drama that is emotional, it, it might keep you going. I have told you in, in other videos. Because drama is something that you, you really want to keep like a, may, maybe in a level of 2 and 3 out of 10. You can't have a one drama because if you only have a one level drama, oh my God, you will go crazy. And if you have a four or five or more, oh my God, you will also go crazy. So no, you, you need a little bit of, of, of support. You need to be able to, to, to understand that you're important to somebody else other than family members. And, and, and it sucks. And, and I share that in, in, in the video. It's a personal uh, thing. I know not a lot of people will share personal stories or things like that, but it, it, the point is that uh, you will go through that. And I have said it in, in the other videos about the experiences. You, 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 you're not going to go through this alone. And if you do not know how the hell to, to, to uh, set limits to the drama that you're dealing with, you will go crazy. And if, if, if you don't pick the, the, the partner that you're having and, and you don't know what you want to have with this partner, because it, sometimes we have partners just because we don't want to be alone. I have told you a thousand times over, that's not why you're supposed to have a partner. Because otherwise you can pick anyone. What the hell? There is a hell of a lot of people out there that will pick you over just because they have nothing better. So no, 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 that's not the point. The point is that you, you want to share with somebody and be important to somebody and understand that for that somebody, you are also important because it will help you in times like this in which you are collapsing and stuff like that. Why? Well, because let's see, like I said, you know, not we're human and, you know, oh, come on, what the hell? Well, like I told you, it, and there will be people that they, they, they don't have the ability to tune out, never. And at that point, you know, they will always be screaming the hell out of everybody else because they don't know how the hell to turn out. And, and you know, it, it would be different for, for, for everywhere, everybody. But, you know, you want to try to do your best. And you want to try to be as honest as possible with yourself. And then you can be honest with other people, you know. And... um. You know, I think I have talked to you to, to a hell of a lot today. So anyway, I hope this information is helpful somehow. And, um, you know, I hope to see you again soon.